Thanks for joining us on the web. I'm Tim Orman at Orman's3day.com and Orman's Furniture at 152nd and Metcalf. We're trying to answer some of the questions that come up uh, in our store for those people who want to shop in your fuzzy slippers and at uh, one in the morning when you're done watching the uh, Tonight Show and uh, the later Tonight Show and the early morning show and uh, still can't go to sleep. So uh, I thought we would talk a bit about Amish furniture, which we are big proponents of because it is made in America, solid woods, uh, basically the specie that you'd like to have, unless you get really exotic. No, they don't do ironwood or sapili, but if you want maple or cherry or quarter sawn white oak or flat cut red oak, those are all readily available. And the manufacturers will allow us to then pick the finish, and we've got 16 to choose among. So it's a matter of saying, what, what floats your boat? Many times we'll have customers who say, uh, my chairs have worn out, but my table is still good. So they'll bring in a leaf, and we'll look at the pieces and try to come up with what size table they need. Other times, it's the table is fine, and the chairs are, I think I said chairs are worn out. Let me back that up a little bit. We do both chairs and tables. How's that? And you can do all these species, plus several other finishes. We can actually customize finishes. We can two-tone finishes. But the big draw on Amish furniture is construction. And we've done a piece in our showroom that we're going to show you uh, that will show you some of the features, not nearly all or all the selection, but beautiful construction and some customization. Tommy, would you roll that piece that we did earlier? Let's talk a little bit about uh, Amish furniture. This bed probably does the best demonstration of how they build things. Talk about mitering in the cross rails. Note that there's four on this queen size bed. There's six down feet. Remember, your mattress warranty only requires one. Somebody said to me the other day, that's so overbuilt. Well, that's what these people do. Solid woods made finished with catalyzed conversion varnish, beautiful tenon work, wonderful finishing. Uh, make products available in multiple finishes, multiple species. Everything in this room can be done in different woods, different colors, different hardware. Uh, we can actually uh, change the heights of footboards. There's a lot of modification you can do if you like the general theme. Many times there are many more pieces available. We have nightstands that are proportioned to a king and those are proportioned to a queen. The drawers generally are done with soft clothes, undermount hardware. The drawer boxes are all English dovetail front and back, so you can pull the drawer all the way out and not fear breaking it. And the undermounts will support it, and they're soft clothes. Tops can be made to slide so that you can have a hidden storage with a lock and a power strip on the back. Uh, those are options that you can add to the pieces. This happens to be rustic cherry. We have in this, and you'll recognize, uh, you aficionados of arts and crafts will recognize quarter sawn white oak uh, because of the very distinctive grain pattern with the ray flake in it and the medullary ray coming down. On the other side of this area, we've got rustic hickory. And uh, this will give you an idea of some of the way this can be modified. Here are two nightstands side by side, obviously different widths one more proportionate to a king, one more proportionate to a queen. We can leave the panels off on the headboard. We can reverse the panels. We can make the footboard lower. I mean, what more could you ask for than beautiful construction modified to fit your needs in your room? We can raise and lower the rails depending on your mattress height. I'll, Sam, come around here and I'll show you a very clever idea. This has a secret compartment on the front of it. It's not readily apparent. Not only does it have a jewelry drawer in this drawer here, which you can't see, and Sam's going to have a fit because I can tell, talk about it, but he can't see it. But here's the one that's hidden on the front. Come on. There you go. Clever. And this is just bedroom. We'll pick this up. We'll close this off right here. I'm going to take you and show you an Amish dining room table that will give you kind of an idea of what they do in dining room. See you in just a moment. We've trekked a ways around the store. As some of you who've been here know, this uh, store is 300 feet across the front, so there's some size to it. This is an Amish-built, very interesting 
table that's done at counter height so that you can pull counter stools up to it. A lot of people like this idea. It also has reciprocating ratchets to it, so you pull out one side, the other side comes up, and it has inside what's called a butterfly leaf. So this opens up and fits noisily, uh, like so. Underneath, and Sam, you'll probably have to come around this way just a little bit, the base has got a door on it so that you've got some storage to it. Uh, and if you get a close-up of this finish, you'll see this is, uh, this is the time. Now, I know it's 1 in the morning and you're tired, but take a look at this wood and see if you can identify it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's elm. Very unusual, but absolutely gorgeous how this is done. Now, this is just one color that's done in this species. But this will give you an idea of what the Amish do in dining room. We can change the edge if you'd prefer a bullnose edge. That's possible. If you want an OG edge, we can do that also. But finished with catalyzed conversion varnish. Toughest finish you can put on wood. The little rings don't bother it. The only household chemical that they found that bothers it is nail polish remover. So don't let the kids sit here and do their nails at this table. At least if it falls on it, you can wipe it right up. The problem is if it sits 24 hours, the finish gets a little cloudy. But any other table, you just drop nail polish remover on it and it'll bubble. So that'll give you an idea of the Amish products, what we handle and why we handle them. And this is about 2% of what you've seen in this video of what's available. Thanks for watching.